going on everybody i'll show you a little snow here in uh west tennessee this is over uh the last few days i'm gonna say three and a half four inches most you can kind of step back and you can kind of see how deep it is right there if you can see that where i was driving in it in the driveway here i know for a lot of people up north this is not not a lot you can see the side city side streets they don't do anything to the to the city side streets you just people just drive on it and packs it down and it's not bad at all for for an all-wheel drive vehicle or I guess front wheel drives do pretty good. The worst part I've seen is where they plowed the, the main highway and it's kind of uh, pushed the snow up uh, at the end of the streets where you pull out. It makes it a little difficult to pull out if you've got a front wheel drive or wheel, rear wheel drive. But like I said, they don't do anything to the side streets. They just sort of let them take care of themselves. And uh, well, with this Explorer, that's all wheel drive. It hadn't had any issues at all. But this is what kind of shuts West Tennessee down when it, when we get this. I know the Dollar General store is closed today. The uh, the banks were closed. A lot of stuff's closed. Some of the convenience stores are still open. But this sort of paralyzes. Well, don't sort it. It paralyzes this area when we get a little snow here, uh, which a lot of people do live out on on the county roads. And back roads uh, which could make it difficult yeah I got my vehicles out from under the carport and I can tell you why this old carport is 20 20 plus years old at least we've li lived here since 2006 and so I know it's uh, it's probably 20 25 years old or better and I never trust these old metal or aluminum carports that's a lot of weight on top of those so I got my I'd rather have some snow on my cars which will melt right off in a few days because it's supposed to be up in the 40s, 50s, and 60s uh, starting like Sunday up into next week. But you see the Buick, she's she's out. The little Honda. The Dodge. I moved this out last night about 6 or 7, 6 30, 7 o'clock last night. And so that's about how much snow fell from that time on. And I'll show you this carport. It's it's done this the last few years you can see where that little top part up there has buckled from the weight of the snow now i first noticed it doing that about three or four years ago or maybe more you can see right here it's already ripped that uh, aluminum away from that screw there so that's a lot of weight on that thing uh this is a pretty i'm thinking it's a pretty well-built carport uh, but I'm not going to take any chances of it collapsing on top of these uh, cars. Normally I keep the Buick and the Dodge in the carport. And obviously these being older vehicles, uh, liability insurance, I've got liability and comprehensive on that, which comprehensive part covers like deer, which we have a lot of deer and wild animals that like to run out in front of you. Uh, especially at night around here. So I've got comprehensive on that that covers that's liability plus the comprehensive covers like deer damage, uh, windshield uh, chips. If a rock gets thrown up and cracks your windshield, it covers kind of stuff like that. But the Dodge and the Rangers are just strictly liability insurance, which just basically is what you have to have, the minimum you have to have uh, to legally drive. Uh, so if this carport falls on this truck or this buick uh they're gonna they're gonna look at the blue book value on it and they're gonna say well it's i don't know thousand dollars for the truck and, and twenty five hundred dollars for the buick or whatever but i can tell you right now guys that dodge may not have much of a book of, of a blue book value but uh it's worth a lot more to me than what the book says it is and the same thing with the buick that buick's only got uh about 34, 35,000 miles on it. Uh, it's a, it's a 2003. So 
I would never get, what I'm saying is I would never get out of these vehicles what they're truly worth, uh, in my opinion. So, anyway, I'm, so that's why I moved them out. Poor little 88. She's got a uh, big cap of snow on top of it. It's still got to get a tune-up. I hadn't been driving it. I, I do come out here and start them. Uh, and then the poor 89. It's going to be a few days before she's able to move because where she's sitting at sort of in the grass or uh, grassy area of the yard. And when this stuff starts to melt, it's just going to be a muddy mess over there. So it may be two or three weeks before she's out of here. But I do come out here and start them up and let them, let them warm up. I uh, have it today, but the uh, last two days at least I have come out here and started them and let them warm up to operating temperature. The other night I come out here and the 88 wouldn't do anything. I think the clutch was actually froze up on it, but then the next day when it warmed up some, uh, she come out here and she fired right up, so I let her sit there and, and run a little bit. Actually, the temperature right now I think is showing about 30, 28, 30 degrees, so... But anyway, guys, this is West Tennessee 2021 snowstorm that has sort of paralyzed the area. People can't make it into work. Banks are closed. Stores are sold out of bread and milk. And we're still getting by. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Y'all stay safe and stay warm.